everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a darling gift card holder shaped like a coffee cup that is from Waffle Flower Crafts. This is a really clever die set and coordinating stamps. And I'm excited to show you how to build this card project. And I also created a couple extra projects because I just thought this is really a fun idea. And you could use this both for coffee cards or any gift card, or heck, you could even use it to put cash in for a graduate. So let's take a look at the products. Here are the coffee cup dies on the left. And the nice thing about waffle flower dies is they do come on a magnetic sheet. But you can see this is the main part that cuts out the insert, plus this little funky thing, which I'm gonna show you how it works in a minute to make the actual pocket. Now, there are also stamps, and these can all be used to dress up your gift card holder in any way you like. I love that treat yourself, just like the back of a Starbucks cup that you're gonna check off, but all kinds of little sentiments. Got some ink here from Gina K Designs and an assortment of cardstock. Some Nina Solar White, a little bit of Sweet Mango Orange, and just this charming little strip of pattern paper that I'm going to use to create a, like a belly band, if you will. And of course, I have coffee. <laughs> seems, it seems appropriate. The first step is to take a piece of cardstock. This is nine inches by four and a quarter, and you're gonna score at four and a half. Just like this. And this is the 80 pound Nina Solar White. I'm gonna press this down because this is what is going to form my pocket. You're gonna take the funky die that looks like this and have those points hanging just over the folded side. I'm taping it down, holding that in place, and running it through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cut machine. And what will emerge is a piece that has score lines on it, but is also joined together as one piece. While the die cut machine is out, I'm going to cut both the front and back top portion of the cup. And this is the Sweet Mango cardstock. And as you can see, it is going to fit perfectly on the insert. Next, I'm going to stamp on the back of the insert holder. And I'm going to just use a little bit of black ink. This is Onyx Black from Gina K Designs to go ahead and stamp on that little backside. I think this is just really cute. And then I'm also going to take the little check mark that comes in the set and just stamp that down with a little bit of coordinating ink, also in the Sweet Mango color. Now it's time to fold one side and the score lines make this easy. I'm gonna fold that over, but you don't need the other side, whatever is going to be the back side, so you just cut them off. I just used my big craft scissors. I didn't cut it perfectly the first time. I couldn't really see what I was doing because the camera was in the way and I was trying to look at my monitor, but trust me, you just cut them off. And I trimmed it a little bit more, just like that, so that the back was going to line up perfectly. Now I've got some really sticky score tape here and I had a little assembly issue, and I'll tell you what I should have done. Shouldn't have done this step first, but we're staying with it. I added that sticky tape, and then I knew I wanted to have my little belly band, but I wanted my belly band to be inside, so uh, I had to cut, fold that over, okay? And I decided to go ahead and just fold it on top of the score tape. You know, just like that. I could have done that part first because now I had to go back and add just a tiny bit more of that sticky tape because you really do want a strong adhesive, but in the end, look at this, it all worked out. I couldn't wrap it around the cup because I didn't want to obscure the cute little treat yourself on the back, but it all worked out. That doesn't always happen with every card project as you probably know. But next, I'm gluing on the little toppers again in that, that lovely coordinating orange cardstock. And I'm just using my Gina K Dot Runner for that. And now you can see the magic. Ah, it slides in and there is the structure. I wanted to stamp for all you do in the Sweet Mango ink on the inside of the gift card holder because I thought it would be cute. When you take that card out, you'll see that. And I'm also stamping up top the little surprise inside. I'm going to emboss this so I wanted to clear off the static with my magic bag, ink up with some embossing ink, and then I'll sprinkle on my powder. This is the Brutus Monroe Alabaster. And just tap off the excess and then go ahead and quickly heat set that. 
I did notice that the word surprise stamped a little bit heavier, and that's probably because I stamped when it was all assembled. So next time, I would stamp before assembly. I'm going to stamp some circles here, and I'm going to hit it two times so that I get a nice coverage of ink with my lovely Misty tool, which makes this possible. And I'm also going to stamp two. I like to have a backup. Always make a backup if you're not that handy with the die cutting machine. And I'm trying out two dies. One of them is the die that comes with the coffee cup set, and then I just used some circle dies to make a second cut. I liked that this had more of an even whiteness, but I didn't really want that look for this card. So I've got my ink out and a little teeny tiny blender brush, and I just wanted to cover up the white because I didn't quite cut it perfectly, and I thought, you know what, this is gonna work. These this blender brush set comes with a tiny brush, and once it dries back, you can't even tell that you filled in the color. Next, I'm adding a little bit of orange glitter cardstock. I'm gonna pop up that circle, and then pop up a little tiny white heart. And that's the finished card project. Now here comes the fun. I don't, not gonna do Starbucks in this neck of the woods. We have Caribou. Well, we have Starbucks too, but I think I like Caribou better. It's a Minnesota company. Maybe not Minnesota, but look at that. Isn't that cute? It just slides right in. And that is how you deliver your gift card. And I just think this is super fun and clever. Just like that. So cute. And I made this one, but I also did a couple other ones. This one I just did with some gold embossing powder. Haven't stamped anything inside there yet, because that, I think, is going to be a grad card. And here's one where I used a little coffee pattern paper. I think this is from Close to My Heart. And also stamped the big thank you. And again, that can just sit right behind the gift card. But see, you can use cash, too. Wouldn't that be fun? And then stamp a little grad sentiment in there, just like that, for your coffee-loving grad. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope this inspires you to check out this set. I think there's a lot of potential here, not just for coffee cards, but for any gift card that you can think of, or the always appropriate cold hard cash. Thanks everyone, have a great day, and I'll see you back here with another card project soon.